administration after following uh, all due processes. And that's obviously something that we need to be able to intervene in, and it's my responsibility to ensure that the agencies discharge their duties as fairly and as efficiently as expected of public, um, of public uh, agencies. Support to the Juakali sector, it's part of our SME development, and I think there have been some examples. Sometimes we, it, when we look, for instance, at the recent uh, development, and I can, because I think government has really been focusing on support to SMEs and, uh, and, 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 and those sectors, and giving them preferential uh, access and, uh, in public procurement. And a great example is, you know, the recent completed Park Road housing project as part of affordable housing. We contracted, and I think you're aware of that, we contracted uh, the, at least groups from, from, uh, for, from the Comba who were contracted, as were groups from Gong Road, you know, supplying doors, as were the guys from Kariobangi. And that supply contract has enabled them to even expand their businesses, and we've seen it in terms of the facilities and access that they have. So, and they will continue to benefit from such government uh, projects and other procurement reforms. So at least the Buy Kenya Bill Kenya recognizes that we must support our SMEs within it. So it's not, uh, they're, they're not shut out uh, from it. Um, um, the Honorable uh, Joyce on uh, the cost and competitiveness uh, of, uh, of manufacturing and support to production, say by KIPI and patenting. I think cost of energy has been a big issue. I mean, but there are many other things you know, around it, whether it's cost of labor, cost of energy, cost of finance, there are many other costs uh, that supply, that, that affect uh, manufacturing. But also, we really need to also recognize the work that government has done to address these issues. I think last week, the Minister for Energy gazetted uh, even cheaper rates uh, of about, uh, I think, eight shillings per kilowatt hour for large, industrial consumers uh, levied or, you know, uh, who are metered on 240, 220 kVA. So at least we are addressing it and targeting uh, the interests of uh, manufacturers. In the industrial park, they'll be able to get it at four shillings uh, per, kilowatt, uh, per, per kilowatt hour. So at least you're addressing it as much as possible and ensuring that the utilities, even as we meet the needs of industry, which is obviously my main my main concern, you also must ensure that the utilities are well resourced in order, to, in order to supply the necessary power. Otherwise, if you get cheap power, but you are often on rationing, then it, still, it, it negates the intention. So it's a balancing game. Ensure that industry can get power, but ensure utilities can also um, uh, supply. And that, uh, I, think, I, think, I think I focused on, on, on the Juakandi bit. In terms of encourage and encouragement, the Constitution uh, really uh, focuses on a lot of public participation. And this is a country that has engaged in dialogue with business for a very long, for a very long time. The associations of manufacturers, the Federation of Employers, the Chamber, are long-standing partners of government and constantly uh, engaged in dialogue. And very little happens without that dialogue. But there's also expansion of dialogue across all sectors with SMEs. And they are, I mean, SMEs have often told us that they don't feel they'd like to also speak you know, and have their own association. And we have entertained them at the ministry when they have come together. So this is, you know, we listen, we listen often and, 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 and frequently as we develop policies to all these, uh, with all these different uh, 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 groups. Honorable Sankok, yes, I, 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 I appreciate the comment that you've made. And out of the top of my head, and that's something we can probably work, we can continue to work together on, is that we need to work on ensuring that we recognize the needs of disabled people as we set up markets, whether it's different or whether it's setting up different locations where they can be part of. I have visited other countries where in a, in, a, in, in a market, there's actually a section where differently abled people uh, have their stand. So maybe something that we can continue to work on and control. At least we, are, we, we recognize it, but I think in our design of facilities, we also need to pay uh, attention. So I promise you that it's something I'd like to continue uh, to engage with you on. Honorable Chef Kut, the revival of FLOSPA, um, 
what would you like us to do? Okay, then I guess there must be a mechanism for revival of agencies just the way it has been done uh, with RiverTex. And I mean, obviously the necessary analysis must be done and, and, and the business case made for it. And that's something that we can continue to engage on. Thank you. Is there something I missed? No, you talked about, uh, I, I, and I think it has been, uh, maybe about the uh, cheap, uh, cheap fertilizer. No, it was cotton. Subsidized fertilizer for cotton growers. It, uh, maybe, but she has been nominated to industry, trade, and uh, enterprise development. Seeds against agriculture. Oh, but she, but obviously, as a, a, by way of facilitation, the ministry would collaborate um, at another level. Yeah. yeah. Chair, the issue of edible oils are... Edible oils. Okay, you know, I think... One, the, mi one minute, please. One, <laughs> yeah. one minute on that. I think the issue of edible oils has gone, uh, has, has gone on uh, for a while. Uh, I think the big, the big issue was that it needed to meet... The, the standards and the expectations that had been set by the Ministry of Public Health with regard to vitamin A. Yes. So, and it's important that all imported products meet, uh, meet those requirements. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. But now we see when you give Chair. a down or mark from a port of uh, manufacturing, then it's supposed to be cleared without inspection. How do yeah. you give a down mark and then come and tell them that they, can, they cannot be cleared? Okay. Okay, and, and okay, sorry, I'd forgotten to mention that. When you give somebody a diamond mark, that is a mark that they also need to continue demonstrating compliance with the same. It's not, uh, it's not set in stone that if you got a diamond mark in 2000, your manufacturing practices may change. And, it is, and, 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 and I think the country reserves the right to verify upon importation of goods that they are still compliant. Chair, I think uh, on that matter, maybe it's something we can discuss further, but not now. I know we don't have time. But the issue is, how does the government take money, even taxation, you tax everything and you receive money from the people who have imported goods, and then you keep the goods at the port, and the government has taxed them, they have paid everything, but then, and actually I think there was a directive also from the president that those, those things should be released. But somehow, I think between the multi-agencies, there's some gridlock somewhere, and already it's almost one year. And I think those are some of the issues, because you are supposed to be assisting the executive. Those are some of the issues that the people, Monomo Mwananchi is complaining about. I came, the same government allowed me to bring these things. They, I paid the taxes, then why are you holding my goods? And I think they have also done a test, showing even what is locally here and what had been imported. What has been imported is maybe of even higher quality. But it seems there's somewhere that there's no communication between the government and the people who are importing the edible oils. So should the question be, should the verification inspection be, should the inspection be the first issue before you can apply taxation? Because why tax, then take it for a